Hi, Turbine Carpus Pseudomicrocheli in its different forms. First of all, let's start with the biggest growing one. This is the subspecies Crinzianus form minima, which is quite common in collections, at least in Belgium. Typical for this species is it's much larger, larger growing than your other uh, subspecies. The flowers are greenish yellow. You can get even on, on old plants. You can even get uh, branching. The plants do have a big tap root. Look, I have a plant here that broke its pots. It needs urgent repotting. So you can see how yeah how strong the roots can be. Eh? It's just tear apart the the pots. Now it's waiting to be repotted. This plant. It has been, yeah. This plant is 20 years old, and maybe it's 10 years in the same pot. So yeah. It's time to get some uh, new substrate. Next plant from the subspecies is a subspecies Pseudomacrocheli. Typically for this plant, this plant has almost the same age as the previous one you have seen. Eh? This one is starting to branch a little bit, but stays very low. It's not growing tall, it's, it's growing very low, can form some clumps has some yellowish uh, spines with normally when it's blooming whitish flowers. The last subspecies is slightly bigger than the previous one, subspecies Lassery. Lassery is actually quite similar to the Pseudomacrocheli, in spite of the more brownish uh, spines. Previous one has yellowish spines, this is, has brownish spines and also flowers. It's not open yet, should be opening within a few days. These flowers are reddish, so actually this is a very nice species as well when blooming. The other one has a more golden spines, yellow spines, so see even when not flowering it's not that difficult to distinguish uh, both uh, subspecies. Uh, as for cultivation, I don't see any issues. I have been growing these plants for yeah, all of them between 50 and 20 years They're in my collection, these plants. They stay very small as you can see. Uh, the key is, let's say, plenty of light, um, quite mineral soil, so don't add too much organic matter. Something is never bad, but don't add too much. Also, don't overwater them. Overwatering Turbina carpus has a very nasty side effect that plants can split. So you have to water on the correct moment. If you respect all these things, you don't have many negative surprises with these with these plants. Very rewarding, easy blooming plants. So I hope this has been interesting for you and awakening some of your interest for this interesting plant genus, Turbinicarpus. Thank you for listening. See you next time.